Hi, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker, and I want to welcome you to our Sunday Live. Um, I'm going to try to do these on a regular basis, and I'm just looking forward to showing you some of the really amazing things you can do with our spring ribbon kit. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is take my Bodabra bow wire, I'm going to fold it in half and lay this down into my Bodabra and just tuck the ends underneath. Then what I'm going to do is I have, now this is one of the ribbons from our spring ribbon kit, but it, I, this is a two and a half inch wide and the one and a half inch wide is what comes in the kit. But I combined it with the ribbon from our Christmas kit, this beautiful burlap. And I thought, how fun would it be to combine the burlap from our Christmas kit with our beautiful spring posy ribbon? So I'm just going to lay this down in here and create my tail. And now what I'm going to do is take my um, two ribbons, and I'm just going to take them together and twist and scrunch that down into the Bodabra. And if you guys wouldn't mind, if you are not already following Bodabra on Facebook, please follow us. And also, if you would like to sprinkle and share with your friends, that would be amazing. So now I'm gonna twist. Hi, Jill, good evening. And I'm gonna fold back over and twist and scrunch that down into the Bodabra. So all I'm doing is using my two ribbons together and just folding, and then I just scrunch it in. So I'll fold it over, I'm gonna twist it and scrunch that in. And hi, Sharon from Fairfield, Ohio. Thanks so much for joining. And scrunch that in. And now, let's see, I have two. I'm gonna make just my little, um, scrunch this in here. So, then what I'll do is take my Bodabra wand, and one of the things you guys will notice is the towers, when the Bodabra gets really full, the towers sometimes come together, so you just sort of separate them a little bit with your fingers. And then now what I'm going to do is come up here, and hi, Fairy, and Debbie from Oklahoma, hi. And Rebecca from Chicago. I just love, we have everybody from like all, literally all over the world that watches us. And I'm so grateful to all of our fans who watch on a regular basis and share our, um, share the Bodabra with your friends. Um, and for those of you who do designing, we do have an affiliate program now at Bodabra.com. So you might want to check into that. So I'm just gonna, cl I'll clip this little end. So you hate it when the wire just kind of pricks your finger. Um, and now I'm just going to shape all this out, separate my loops as I shape, and bring my tails down. So you can kind of see here how I'm shaping it. And just going to bring this and then I'm going to kind of just bring these loops a little bit apart and I'm going to do a triple layer bow in a little bit but I just thought that the burlap and the spring ribbon just kind of looked so pretty together so I wanted to just give it a try in this bow so let me know what you guys think hi Karen J Croft from um, Virginia Wow, we've got people from everywhere tonight, and it makes me so happy to have you all join me. So let me know what you guys think of this spring combination of the burlap and the spring-colored ribbons. So now what I'm going to do is go on to the next one, and Remy, this one you're going to have to do from above. It's going to be really big. We're going to make a really big swag. So now I'm going to fold this in half and clip my wire and lay this down into my Bodabra and just tuck the end underneath. Um, then what I'm going to do is take this piece of mesh, and just in case you guys are wondering, it is 21 inches wide, and I've got about a yard plus, um, oh, is that almost exactly two yards? So all I'm going to do is just fold this in half and kind of bring these together. 
and just lay this down into my Bodabra. So hi, Michelle from Philly. Hi, Carol from Iowa. It's so awesome having all of you guys here. So this, we're gonna make sure that we have our loops there. And then I have a piece of, um, this is included in our spring ribbon kit, which I just, like, I know I talk about it, but you guys, Anna outdid herself at Morex. Um, so, I, so it's about a yard and a, about a yard and 24 inches. So now what I'm going to do is just, um, I'm going to basically um, take this ribbon here because I want the right side. So I'm going to actually do this just like I would make a regular loop, twist it. So my ribbon's laying down there and then bring this back in here and just scrunch that down. That way my tails lay down flat. And then um, I have these tails, which again, we have the pink in our ribbon. Hi, Joe. And we have this pink in our ribbon, but in the ribbon kit, it's, oh, it's one and a half inches versus, um, versus the yards. So all I'm gonna do here is just lay my tails into the bodabra. And then I have this piece of, that is about 35 inches. And we're just gonna lay this tail down in here. And then we have our yellow, which is also included in our spring ribbon kit. And I think these are all the same. This, is, this one's about 38 inches. And we're just gonna fold that in half and lay this down my tails into my Bodabra. From Staten Island, Anne Marie, thank you guys so much for joining me and for saying hi. And then we have this um, really pretty bouquet, which um, Kathy actually put this together and she put all different kinds of ribbon in here. So we're just gonna lay that down and I wanna keep this loop here sort of in the center around my, my ribbon. And then what I'm gonna do is take, um, and again, this is in our spring ribbon kit, my paisies, which is two and a half inches wide. And I'm just going to make my loops here and fold it back and forth. And hi, Kelly from Florals in the Barn. She is my, Oh my gosh, one of my best friends and just does such a good job with her wreath tutorials. If you haven't um, watched her wreath tutorials um, that she does or her um, bow classes that she does, she's just so creative. And what I love is we all create so differently. Kelly creates differently. Joe, Joette um, creates so differently. And Nick creates differently. And don't forget, Nick will be doing his live tomorrow at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 Central, uh, Mountain, 6 Central, and not stressing with the bow. The wire is holding it all together. So now I'm going to separate the ends and flip it over, bring it around to the back, and tie a knot and tie another knot. And I also wanna thank everybody who has sprinkled and shared. And you can see because I was shaping this pretty much as I was going, it makes it a lot easier to just shape it out at the end. So now we'll go here and I'm just going to shape out my loops by just separating them and bringing my tails around. So thank you, Ribbon, I, I mean, Ribbon, <laughs> Kelly. I know this ribbon is really easy to design with and it's so bright. I can't wait to see the kit Anna comes up with for the patriotic kit that she's doing and, um, and the summer ribbon kit and the hair bow kit. I'm so excited to finally have kits designed specifically for hair bows. So now you guys can see how you can absolutely take this and display it on a door. Just so simple to make. And I mean, how quick was that? I think I made it in less than five minutes. Now, of course we measured beforehand, but I'll give you a show of this from the front angle. Can see how absolutely beautiful and how huge 
this is. So now, oh, whoops, this will be up here. So now I'm going to take this swag. Give me lots of love if you guys like it. And um, I'm going to take the swag and kind of put it aside. But just like, I love taking some of these flowers were like from the Dollar Tree. Remy, did you get to the front? Because I can't see it. So one of the things I like to say is like these flowers, some of them are cut from an arrangement from the dollar store. And um, Pam, thank you. So, oh, here we go. We finally got this up to the front camera. So you can see like there's so much in this. Oh, and I need to pull my flag up. So this is just a beautiful arrangement to hang on your front door. So let me go ahead and put this aside. And I'm going to go a complete different direction. And I'm going to use, again, ribbon from our spring ribbon kit, but I'm going to make a really cute little hair bow. Now, I don't know how many of you have actually seen me make my own ribbon. So that's what we're going to do now, is I'm going to actually make my own ribbon using two different ribbons from the spring ribbon kit. So what I have here is called peel and stick, and we'll have to put an affiliate link for it. Um, so all I'm going to do is take my peel and stick and lay this over my satin ribbon. And what I love about this product is, what you want to put it on straight, but what I love about this product is that I'm going to have to put my other earbud in because I think I'm losing one. So hold on. Um, is that you don't need to iron and it is machine washable. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this here. And the only difficult part sometimes because I just have no nails is pulling it apart. So let's see if I can grab that. There we go. So now I grab it up and you can see, you can't see um, the peel and stick. Um, so now I'm gonna take my other ribbon from the, um, from the ribbon kit, if I don't peel and stick myself to this ribbon, and I'm just going to start this here. And you can do this, what I love is to do this with like even a wider ribbon, but I like it for the hair bows because it just helps you add and put together two really pretty ribbons. So now what we're going to do is take my um, gold bodabra bow wire and I'm going to just fold it in half and lay this on to. Thank you, Pam, for spreading the love. You know, all you guys know that you are literally our marketing department. So, it, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate when you share with friends. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to just leave a little bit of a tail and twist it, put that down, and bring this back over, bring a tail. And, of course, I don't know what I did with my measuring plate. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and start this real quickly over so that we can use our measuring tool to do this so it comes out exactly the way I want it. So we're going to now take my wire and just tuck it underneath. And Jane, let me know when you get a Bodabra. I'm interested in both sizes and the prices. We have the Bodabras in stock. Um, so you can just go to Bodabra.com and we'll have them on the website. And I'm just going to twist that over. So now I can see that I've got, um, I'm, I'm on the inside. So I'm like two and three quarters inches. So on this side, I want to do the same. And I'm just going to scrunch that in there. And I'm going to just take my tail and even that out here. And just cut it at an angle. Or you could dovetail it. And then now I'm going to just take my wire, bring it through, pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra, pull it out. So the measuring tool is really nice. And no, I'm so sorry. We don't have a measuring tool for the regular Bodabra yet. Oh, Dee, thank you for sprinkling. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and then we're also going to be doing, starting a new, um, a new 
uh, what do you call it, supporter, special supporter fan club. We just started it. And what's going to be really cool is I'm going to go on there. And so now for this, I'm going to take my, my wire and I'm going to tie it here onto my um, headband. But I'm going to bring it around here so it's tied not on where the little girl's hair, head would be. So it'll, the wire won't touch their head. And then I'm just going to tie a double knot and clip it. And just shape it here, bring my tails down. And you have a really pretty little headband. Show it to the kids. So isn't that great and so simple and literally just using two ribbons from the spring ribbon kit. So now what I'm going to do is go on to, since I'm doing hair bows here, let's go ahead and do another really cute hair bow using the ribbon from the spring ribbon kit, but also I'm going to be using um, some little corker ribbon. So I'll put that down there. I just kind of drop everything everywhere. Um, so I will grab my... I think I want my gold wire for this. So let's grab some gold bow dabber bow wire and fold this in half. And I'm going to just lay this down in here, tuck the ends underneath. Thanks, Joanne, for putting that up there. Um, the bowdabber.com site. And then and there's also a link, I believe, um, in the event um, section. So, and in about five minutes, we are, I forgot to say, we're going to be giving away a roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon, which is really fun ribbon. So make sure that you um, watch and I, they, we will be picking a winner. Remy, are you able to see the comments? Oh, okay, great. So what we're going to do in a couple of minutes is we're going to ask a question and the first person that answers that question is going to win a free roll of the Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. So, and we've got people watching from YouTube and from um, from YouTube and um, a bunch of different places. So, I just want to make sure that you know that we pick the very first one that comes up. So that's like as fair as we can be. So this is just using our spring ribbon, and I'm going to light one more corker in there. Hi, Elise from Massachusetts, and Michelle from Gillette, Wyoming. So I just thought this looked so pretty. And for those of you who've watched me for a while, you know that I pick my, my corker ribbon I buy. I do not sit there and take a dowel and bake it, <laughs> like I used to have to do in the old-fashioned days. So pull this up really tight. Pull it out. I'm going to separate my ends. So has everybody had a good Sunday? What did you guys do today? Anything special? I know, is today Orthodox Easter or was that last week? I'm so bad. Okay, so now I'm just going to bring this out and bring this here. And we can take, if I have one, a little hair clip. Actually, I happen to just have a yellow one. So now what I'm going to do is just put my hair clip here and I'm going to just bring my wire around and I'm going to bring it around twice and bring that under there. I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing from the front when I'm doing this here. And then I'm going to take this other piece of wire, bring it around and bring it around here and bring it back around. So all I'm doing here is twisting it around. Then I'm gonna bring them both up here and just tie a knot. And we do have a lot of videos that show um, more in depth how we, um, how we tie this on here. So you can definitely see it at uh, bodabra.com. Um, backslash blog where we have literally hundreds of projects. So I have my clip on my back, on the back, and you have this really cute little hair bow. What do you guys think? 
you know, anybody that wants to make hair bows for their grandchildren, this is a great way to do it. So now, hi, Edna. I'm trying to pay attention here. Oh, rainy and cold day where, Sharon? Um, okay, so now just throw it anywhere. Put that one over here. And let me see. I have a wreath to make. Do you guys want me to make the wreath? We might go a little over, but it's up to you. So I'm just going to take everything out of my little basket, including my thoughts. And so this wreath here is just um, a dollar store. I got this at Dollar Tree and just basically just took these flowers and just put them. You want to go overhead again, Remy? So... Um, I'm just taking the flowers and just putting it into my wreath. And so I'm not even, you can see, this is really tight. I'm not even using glue. Sharon, rainy and cold in Fairfield, Ohio. Okay. Laura from Michigan. Um, okay, perfect. You hit 80 today, Edna. Yeah, it was, it's been pretty hot here. So I'm just going to put this aside for one moment. And I'm going to put this aside as well. And I'm going to take my big bow dabber now and grab this. And let's get here. Okay, so now we are going to, while I'm making this wreath, we're going to pick a winner. And I have no idea what question I was going to ask today. So let's do, um, what city do you live in? I mean, the first person that says they live in a city that starts with the letter O will win. And remember, I'm going to have to have an O in your mailing address, so no cheating. So the first person who lives in a city with an O as the first letter, please let me know. So now I'm just going to fold this over and tuck the ends underneath and take a little piece of mesh. And I'm just going to make a scrunchy bow with the mesh and just kind of scrunch that all in here. And it's such a fun spring color. And now I'm going to just put my tails in, but let me go ahead and dovetail the end of this piece. And so I'm gonna take these three, and again, all three of these ribbons are actually in the Bodabra, the spring ribbon kit. Oh, Martha Lopez from Orlando. Yay, Martha, you are our winner. So now all you have to do is PM, um, PM me or at Bodabra and let me know if you want gold, silver, or red, and we will get your um, ribbon, your Bodabra scrunchie ribbon sent out to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is my favorite part is picking the winner. So we're going to twist and scrunch that down and fold it back over. And I also want to thank everybody from YouTube who's watching um, because we've now been able to live stream these to both Facebook and YouTube. So it's really cool. Um, and don't forget to check out our Bodabra fan gallery. So as you guys can see, I actually have, I've got three ribbons that are from our spring ribbon kit that I'm working together in this bow. So now I'm going to fold it back over. And, and what I love is the Bodabra will just hold it, fold it back over, twist it and scrunch it in from Waldorf, Maryland. Yay. Um, uh, Ella, you can get one by going to bodabra.com. And we have them in our store. So now I'm just going to bring this back over and fold this again. And I just want to thank you guys. Um, and because it, it's just, it's like so awesome for me that you join us on our Monday live. Um, let me just, maybe I'll just do a little tiny loop here to see what we create and what Nick, Nick creates. And for me, I'm doing Sunday Lives now, um, definitely every other week, and I'm gonna try to even do them more often. 
And then now, oh, whoops, I have to put that there. And then now I have this little flower to match my other flowers. So I'm just going to lay that down. And that's one of the really cool things with Bodabra is you can put everything into the Bodabra, whereas there's no way I could hold this. I mean, other people maybe could, but I could not do this with just my hands, not with three layers of ribbon. <laughs> so I'm going to pull this out. And now I'm going to separate the ends and bring it around to the back. And I'm going to tie a knot and tie another knot. And, you know, again, everybody, thank you so much for joining. And if you haven't already, if you don't know who I am and you're just joining, I'm Sandy Sandler. I'm actually the creator inventor of the Bodabra. And we have a lot of wonderful designers who work with us on our design team. And they come up with absolutely great projects every week. So we're just going to, like, bring this. And then now here I am. I'm separating so that you can see all of the really lovely ribbons that are included in this bow. So bring this here. And then I'm going to just take that whole loop and move that. So you can see how we can take the three ribbons and sort of give it a really nice um, springy look. And I have a couple of pieces here that I'm just going to dovetail. So let's just dovetail this one. Mostly they're all dovetailed before I get started, but sometimes not. So let's just dovetail this one here and finish shaping it. Now I'm going to grab my wreath, bring that back over here, and I'm just going to attach my bow. So we'll just attach it and Tie it really tight. And now let me just reposition my loops. And then if I wanted to, what I could do is just take a piece of my ribbon here, and I'm going to cheat and use a Zot versus actually um, gluing it down. So I'm just going to take my Zot and connect it because these are permanent dots and they're just wonderful. And I'm just going to put that around here, put that there. And I'm just going to finish this off with this beautiful ribbon, which again is from our spring ribbon kit. So it's just, you guys just look at the kit. It is so beautiful. And just going to bring that around and oops. There we go. <laughs> and then take this around here. And I could probably just tuck that through. This is, a, like I said, this is from the dollar store. And it's really a nice wreath. And there you have, oh, I even want to twist, shape it even more. You know, I don't know if you guys ever find this, but once you put it on the wreath or where you want to put it, you end up shaping even more because you realize that it needs more shaping. <laughs> I don't know, you can never shape enough. And so now we have this absolutely super simple to make wreath. I hope you guys like it. I wanna thank everybody for following us here on Facebook, for subscribing to our YouTube channel. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the next live. Thank you all so much. Bye.